Hey, 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 beautiful people. This is your girl, Kiara Shanice. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm a teacher currently working and living in the country of Kuwait. Look at that beautiful view right behind me. So I finally made it back to Kuwait and um, my last three weeks have been absolutely insane. Like I have, I landed and I hit the ground running. So basically I got in at like nine o'clock on a Saturday night or no, some, a Sunday night, and I had to be to work the next morning to start um, my training for the new school that I'm at. And I ain't really had time. Well, I've tried, like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I tried to vlog, um, and it just wasn't working. So my memory, like storage on my phone was full. Then like, I would start doing something, then forget to record. It was just a mess. So um, I'm in my apartment. This is my first like day where I'm kind of free this morning and I don't really have much to do. Actually, I have lashes in a couple hours, but like that's neither here nor there. But I am um, gonna go to Lulu's. I have to start, um, I have to try a different Lulu's now because I'm in a completely different city. And um, so yeah, we gonna see what the new Lulu's is like and hopefully I can find all my stuff because all the Lulu's in Kuwait are different. Like they don't all necessarily have the same stuff. So I'm getting ready to get dressed, um, call a cab, and I'll head to Lulu's. I'm gonna take y'all grocery shopping with me because I need to like restock my whole kitchen. I have nothing. Like my kitchen is legit bare bones. So that's what I'm doing this morning. So yeah, come on with me. <laughs> After I finish the kitchen restock, then we're gonna do like a little catch up. I'm gonna share with y'all what's been happening the last couple weeks and just like all this goodness. Like, yeah, so, um, but look, y'all see how dusty it is outside? I'm high key scared to go, look at this. So it's legit just dusty AF. But at the end of the day, I gotta make it do what it do because um, I need some groceries in my house. And with like getting restock in my kitchen, I don't wanna order off the Taliban, which I can, but I just feel like it's better for me to go into the store and make sure I don't miss nothing. I'm probably gonna spend way too much money. I'm, I'm almost sure of it, but um, but yeah. So, and I had to lose. <laughs> I'm going to the Lulu's here in the Sama Mall. And I gotta get a whole bunch of stuff. It's really loud, so I hope y'all can hear me. I gotta get a whole bunch of stuff. And um, yeah, I like this Lulu's though. They usually have all the good stuff in here, so we'll see if it's about what it be about. I legit need a little bit of everything, so it's probably gonna take me quite a while in this Lulu's um, to figure out everything that I need. But, I mean, it gotta be done, right? Y'all, why I'm already in here spending money on stuff that I don't need? I mean, I do need like snacks and stuff and I'm trying to be more like conscious about my snacks. So I love popcorn. So I got these light popcorn. They have uh, 39 calories, gluten free, cholesterol free, and it's made with sea salt. So yeah, I'm already in here acting bad. I can already tell like <laughs> this bill about to be billing. So I'm pretty sure I'm just in the store grabbing stuff at this point. Um, my cart has absolutely no meaning to it. And I am now getting fruit. So at least at least I'm somewhat on the right path. But if I spend $500 on nothing, then don't judge me because this is probably the worst grocery shopping trip that I have ever been on. It was completely not planned out and I just have literally a bunch of random stuff in my car. Look. All right, so I finally made it back home and I made myself some um, breakfast. So I'm eating my breakfast right now. Got some eggs and bacon, uh, turkey bacon, and I got my tea. So I wanted to talk um, about what's been going on lately. <laughs> 
So I changed schools. Um, so when I got back to Kuwait, I had to go get my stuff from my old apartment. Um, but I came to my new apartment first, obviously. And um, basically, I really did not do a good job packing, like from the States and like packing my stuff into my um, old apartment and everything. Like I just, I just did not do a good job packing. So like my stuff was everywhere. I didn't know what was where, what was at whose house because I told y'all I had to store my stuff like at friends' houses because um, my new apartment wasn't ready for me yet. So that was just a lot because I had a lot of stuff. Like I had a flat iron, I had um, um, flexi rods and like hair stuff and like my body wash. I had all that stuff, but all that stuff was packed up and it was at these different people's houses and just the timing and everything. So I ended up having to spend all this money. Like I literally spent $13 on this hair, whatever thing. Like it says it's a hair curler, um, but it doesn't curl hair. It like barely even crimps it, if that. Like, and it's like these little tiny, I don't know, but I don't know why people would pay all that money to have one of those machines because it literally does not work. Um, but I spent 13 KD on that because I needed to do my hair for the next day at work and it just didn't work. So I ended up putting it back into the ponytail and it was just, just crazy. Like y'all think my hair look crazy now, um, but yeah, it looked real crazy then. So that was like the first day back in Kuwait. I'm sorry, I'm eating. I know I don't like chewing with my mouth closed or talking while I got food in my mouth. So I don't even know why I thought that this whole ordeal, I'm almost done. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but it wasn't. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast, but I have a story to tell y'all about what happened at Lulu's. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. All right, so let me give y'all the tea while I drink my tea. <laughs> so I'm leaving out of Lulu's, right? And um, I didn't call a cream. I was just gonna get like a random taxi. So the taxi driver comes up to me, um, very polite. He was like, madam, you need taxi? I told him yes, told him where I need to go. We agreed on a price and we were headed to his car. So then this other man came up and um, he was like, Madam Taxi. And I was like, no, I am already have a taxi. And so he started speaking in Arabic to the other guy. And then it started escalating. Like Arabic is an aggressive language, um, not like in a mean way, but it just sounds like harsh when it's spoken. So you can't really tell sometimes like if people are arguing or what, but um, until, you know, the tones and the gestures start flying. And that's what happened. So. I'm just sitting there, you know, we go into the car and this man, like the other taxi driver that, um, the second one, he's like going off on my guy that I agreed to taxi with. And um, they going back and forth. So I let them have it at first, you know, I wasn't gonna intervene. But then he starts like grabbing the cart that has my belongings in it. And mind you, my eggs, like there's this little hook that you can hang the eggs on the back. So like my eggs slinging back and forth and I'm like, you know, he better not crack my eggs. Um, while he doing all this extra stuff with the car. So um, then like it escalates, we get we get towards the my taxi driver's car. And then he's like in his face, he going off on him. And I told him, I was like, no, I don't wanna ride with you. Like, just leave us alone, let go of my things. And um, I had the gentleman from the store um, that was helping us check out. Like he was there, kind of like a bag boy. And um, he wasn't intervening at all, which I mean, for good reason. But um, then the man, like the, the wannabe taxi driver, he punched my taxi driver. I was like, <gasps> and I was like, yo, like, why are you putting your hands on him? Like, it ain't even that deep. Like, I don't want to ride with you. And I'm like, so at the end of the day, you think that you putting your hands on this man is gonna make me want to get in the car with you? And like, it just, we kind of went back and forth, exchanged words cup for a little bit. Um, I didn't understand him, but I know he understood me because he spoke to me in English. And, um, and then he ended up walking off. But I was like, this is real crazy that this man hit another man because he was mad because he was taking me somewhere. Like, it really ain't that serious. Like, it's people coming in and out of Lulu's literally all day. Like, the store's open almost 24 hours. So it, it was 100% unnecessary, but that was like one of my wildest experiences. 
and I done had a lot of wild experiences. Once I leave Kuwait, I'll share some of those with y'all, but I can't share them while I'm here. So <laughs> yeah, um, that was crazy. So I wanted to share that with y'all. But back to the original, um, the original point of this video. So my first three weeks have been nonstop. Um, I'm actually going into, I think, week four now. So yeah, week four, because it was two weeks of training. I've had one full week with the kids, and then now this is my fourth, fourth week being back in Kuwait. And it was just like literally nonstop, like nonstop. Um, but we did the training. Um, we had some, we had like a barbecue with my school. Um, the superintendent made us burgers and um, hot dogs and all that good stuff. And they provided like um, chips and desserts, all the works for the barbecue. That was really nice. Um, after that, we had um, another week of training. Training was pretty intense, like not in a bad way. It was actually one of the better trainings that I've experienced in regards to the school system because a lot of the things that we were doing, even though we wanted more time in our classrooms, um, we were learning a lot of things that we were gonna need for inside of our classrooms and then things that were like relevant to the start of the school. So I can definitely say that I appreciate that. Um, and then the kids came and this week has really been a good week. Like I can't complain really about anything. The first day of school was chaotic, but it wasn't, that was probably my best first day of school by far, like out of all my years teaching, like that was probably the best one. Um, obviously, you know, trying to gauge your time, adjusting, um, forgetting where you're supposed to go, like the first day of school, um, we didn't have specials. So the second day I took my kids to the wrong area, um, go me. <laughs> But, um, you know, those things happen and I am new to the school, so it's just going to be a learning process. But my kids were super helpful. They was telling me, you know, we go here instead of there. But I told them that we went to the wrong place. And yeah, so it's a big mess. But um, and that's that. Um, I am going to discuss in one of my upcoming videos the process for changing over schools um, because that was something that came as a shock to me like the the process you would think that it would just be like okay I applied somewhere else um, this is how it's gonna go it's really not that seamless um, and there are a few moving parts that go into changing from school to school in the um, in Kuwait, I don't know how it is in other international settings, but definitely um, in Kuwait, there's a process and you have to all, almost be careful um, about how you go about doing things. So yeah, I'm gonna be discussing that. Um, but I have some really exciting news that I'm gonna be sharing in my next video. And like, I'm trying so hard not to spill it because I want it to be a surprise because it was a surprise for me too. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically that. <laughs> but honestly, I'm just like, I'm kind of in awe right now because I feel like I just made my first video about coming to Kuwait and then it feels like I literally just made the next video about year two and now here I am making a video about year three. And I don't know, like, I feel like this is a place where some people like, why would you go there? And then now I'm like, why would, why would I not go here? Like, why would I not come to Kuwait? Um, it definitely has its pros and its cons, but as far as just like functionality, like it's functional. Um, it's easy going here. It's, it's not as distracting as other places can be. There's not so much going on. And maybe there is a lot going on and I just don't know because, um, you know, everything is not like um, streamlined in the media like in other places. Um, or maybe I'm just not, I don't have access to them and don't know where to look. And I'm kind of glad about that because I don't want all that, like the politics, the drama, I don't want that all in my face. So um, I spoke to someone before and she described it very well about how it feels living in the Middle East versus living in the States. And the thing that um, she said to me was that there's less mental chatter. And I 100% agree, like there is less mental chatter here. Like, I just feel like my anxiety is not on edge all the time. Like I can go out and for the most part be safe. 
Um, so I don't have to always be looking over my shoulder, wondering if there's gonna be like a mass shooting or a school shooting. Um, and I can just kind of just be here. So I'm excited for year three. I'm really actually excited about my school. Um, and I think that says a lot because um, previously I was kind of ready to give up on teaching. And um, now I'm, I'm excited about the job again. I'm excited to be able to work. I'm excited to, do, to be able to do um, what I do. And I know it's early on and I'm, you know, maybe we still in that honeymoon stage of our, of our, my employment, but even other people that I've spoken to that have been at this school for a while have all said great things. So I'm really looking forward to this next step in my journey and um, how things are going to unfold. So that's really it. Um, year three is here, it's live, it's, it's happening. And I'm trying my best to bring you guys content. Um, I, I want to have different avenues on this channel, not just Kuwait, because even though I'm in Kuwait and I know you guys have a lot of questions, which I'm more than happy to answer questions that you have if I'm able to, um, but I have other things going on in my life that I want to share. So um, I'm definitely trying to do more like weekly vlogs, just day in the life and those types of things. Um, traveling, um, y'all know I, I've been saying about meal prepping and stuff and all that. So just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I appreciate you guys because even with me being back in the States and filming those things, um, a lot of you have given me nothing but positive feedback about enjoying the videos and stuff that have been coming out. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, I know y'all love, like y'all love my mama. So, <laughs> so that's nice to see like that, you know, um, and my family is great. Like they be acting crazy on the camera, but I, I wouldn't have any any other way. So yeah, so uh, those are some things that you can expect to see from this channel going forward. And I will, again, I'm definitely gonna be sharing the Kuwait content and stuff. And also um, I'm gonna try and start doing TikToks of the restaurants that I visit because I do actually go out to eat um, a lot. <laughs> Um, y'all see, that's why I can't get this weight off of me, but, um, so I'm posting over there on TikTok, like, video, uh, recommendations of places to go, places that I've tried and stuff, so, um, if you're interested in that and you're, you're looking for those things, then definitely check out my TikTok. My TikTok is, I think, sincerely underscore Kiera1, um, so, yeah, follow there for, for that type of stuff, and my Instagram, I post them both, um, on there. So y'all will see those things as well. So so today my school is um, taking us on a free uh, tour, uh, like a free trial day, I guess I should say, to the Palms, um, Jamiria the Palms is in Salmia, and I'm going to take full advantage of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready, and I'm going to take you guys with me. This is my first time going, so I'm like super excited. Um, it's a hotel, well, resort, and it's off of the beach. Um, and it has a pool and everything, so it's supposed to be like a really nice experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, and then we're gonna head out. Sit down. Thank you. Really nice. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> the girls. 
Donia and Brittany. What's up? <laughs> All right, y'all. So here's some of my coworkers. Y'all almost got put out of a restaurant. <laughs> this is Jackie. Jackie from Mexico. <laughs> from Mexico. And don't wait, don't you? You're not in there yet. I'm back. Hi guys. And don't you? And don't. I'm say where you from? I'm from America, but I've got some Egyptian heritage in me. So yeah, these are some of my coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that we did was went on a tour um, around the whole entire resort. They showed us um, the pool area, the gym, the restaurants, like you name it, they showed it to us, which was really um, pretty cool. Um, and the tour lasted all of, I think, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then after the tour, we pretty much had the rest of the time to be able to do whatever we wanted. Um, a lot of us ended up hanging out at the pool. Actually, first we went to brunch, and then we went to the pool, and then we went down by the um, by the the sea and hung out there for a bit until it was time for us to go. All right, we just finished our tour and now we out by the pool area. So we got like the rest of the afternoon to kind of do what it is that we want to do. So I'm just going to kind of explore and see. Um, I think me and one of my friends, we're going to go to brunch and then, um, yeah. Okay, we just finished our little uh, trial day at uh, the Palms in Salmia and definitely I say like uh, 8, 9 out of 10. Um, I'll do, I'll kind of go into detail once I get home. It's a little bit loud in the lobby. Um, so I'm just waiting on some of my friends. We're going to taxi back. The bus comes at 3, but it's like 1.30. Um, and I still need to meal prep and stuff for work this week because it's Saturday and I have to go back to work tomorrow. And plus, my baby gets in tonight. So I need to um, just be ready and make sure that the house is tidy and everything for that. So I'll check back in with y'all when I get home. 